I think for me, uh, you start to really learn to rely on the other people to help you. You know, and you don't, you try not to just be in your own world and do your own thing. You know, it's, and what makes it even step above or a little more difficult is the fact that there's a lot of Chinese or uh, Russians uh, and some of the Mexicans that, you know, the communication is somewhat more difficult. So, um, but it makes you want to maybe that much more reach out to them, and, you know, connect with them and work together. So I think, yeah, it's, you know, um, how it's affected me is just really learning to be patient and, and listen to what they have to say and using, you know, their advice. I learned from him and uh, I think uh, now I can do myself. <laughs> They call it the Third Empire, and they're talking about uh, this region as being different from other regions. Um, so, in a sense, it's not really a no man's land. It's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's an area that's developing a personality that's different from anywhere in the world, and we don't yet know what it is. And I, I am hoping that the parks that we're doing here help us find what that identity is, what that story is. You know, I think what James creates to me is, it's amazing. He's, he almost mimics nature, like uh, every time you see a piece of his, it changes like nature. Ago and he was still having problems getting authorization because his original plan was to put it right on the border where Americans could enter, Mexicans could enter without any, any documentation just to, to meet each other. Although we have traveled uh, such a long time from China to here, I think it's very worthwhile. Yeah. That this is a, a positive effort that shows the willingness of people to cooperate, and I think it's very flattering to Tijuana and Mexico that Russians and Chinese are willing to come and help them build something beautiful for everyone to enjoy. It really is a symbol of international cooperation, and fulfills James's theory that. Beauty will save the world. <laughs> it certainly helps us cross the political barriers. Two more days. Well, today it's Saturday afternoon. We've got to finish by the end of the day Monday, so we have two and a half full days left to work. Grande. I think that maybe, you know, I'd like to think that it, it kind of helps because this park is about the Pacific, you know, so you get to play in it a little bit and you get to feel it, and, you know, look at the sand, you know, and find shells and whatever, just have fun, you know, it's, it's, it, that also is becoming a part of you, you know, and it becomes a part of the park. Mm -hmm.